All right, I'm Naidan Sayan, and in this video, we're gonna talk about timelines in Blueprint. This is part two of timeline. In the first part, we talk about events in, in timelines and animating float value with timeline. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can animate vector and animate color with timeline. So without any further ado, let's begin. As you remember, in last video, we create a blueprint and we call it BP My Actor. And if you didn't watch my videos about blueprint classes, please watch it. I did explain everything in detail, so you know everything. In this video, again, I'm gonna create a timeline and use its vector. If you remember, our blueprint that we create has a box and has a point light in it okay and now we want to use timeline to animate them okay so for that right click wherever you want in your blueprint class go down and at the bottom of these actions add a timeline and i want to call it tl whatever so whatever you want to call it so in here first of all double click on it first thing that i'm gonna do is to use autoplay so what is this autoplay if you didn't watch my last video about timeline please watch it this autoplay um when you check this autoplay you don't need to connect anything to this play or any of these executing pin to a uh, to run this timeline it will run by itself when the game starts okay another thing that i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it in loop and change the length to six seconds for example okay i want to create a vector track in here so click on here and it will create a vector the difference between the vector track and flow track is that uh, the vector track has three value x and y and z and you should animate them right and, uh, and in float value you just have one value and what this vector value give you is a vector it won't give you x and y and z separately and in my videos about most used nodes i did show you how you can get the x y z of a vector in unreal engine so now let's just call this i want to call it my location track i'm gonna call it my location track and if we compile it and go to event graph and you can see our my location track is now here and in here what i always do i create a keyframe by holding shift and click wherever i want okay and it will create a keyframe for us and first you should if you hover over it you see that it says x at the time zero I want it to be at a zero location for the x okay so now we have x but we want to change the y value so what i'm gonna do i want to change height this x curve in here and now we can create a keyframe again by holding shift and click wherever we want and again i want to put the y value at the zero i want it to be zero as well the best way to do it is just to hide everything and just show whatever you want to change the value so for example this y is no just showing okay so i want it to be zero at the time zero i want the location of the y value to be zero okay so now let's just hidden this and show z curve and you can see i did put zero for our z at the beginning of our curve okay so now that we have this i don't want to change the x and y value in here but I want to change just the Z value, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna create a keyframe in here and for time number three, after three seconds, I want it to get to 300, for example. Hit enter to, um, for it to happen. And now you can see that it's increasing, but we can see it if you hit on this zoom to fit vertical and zoom to fit horizontal, you can see it from uh, no, uh, time number zero to three, it will increase, okay? So the next thing is for creating another keyframe and change the Z value to the, to the zero again. So hold control and click on the, this Z at the time number six. I want to change the value to zero again. So it's working like a platform, right? So again, let's just do this and with middle mouse and right click, we can see it clearly. So from zero to three seconds, the z value will change and from this three second to six second it will change its value to zero again and for if you hit this hide this z curve and show this y curve you can see that nothing is changing in there and in the x again nothing changes in there of course you can change it okay you can just do it like this and change for example the x value like this to go to uh, for example here like this and again and then this x and change the y value again like this let's just create another one in here and change the y value like this so now we have three 
track in here that we can access it in our blueprint okay so in event graph you can see that it give us a vector so so with that i want to change this bp my actor in our room you can see it you can see it that our bp my actor is in here let's just change this up and you can see our actor is now here and we want to change this bp my actor location so how we can do that we can just say set actor location okay and you can see it in the target it says itself self you can see it here what self is is just this bp my actor you can see that the self is this bp my actor so that's how you can get this BP my actor or blueprint class in here. I connect this update execution pin to input execution pin of this set actor and connect this new location to here. And that's all we need to do in here. So let's just play our game now. And you can see that our cube is changing its location as we want it, right? And you can see it how it's working. Another thing in timelines is, let me show you, is color. You can add a color track. So let's just remove this. And when you remove it, you can see it will be removed from our nodes as well. So let's just create a color. In the color, it's just like before. Okay. So for example, at the first, I want it to be black. At the end of this animation, the color I want it to be, for example, this color. And you can see this bottom, what it is, it is for just opacity. So if you change the opacity, it will be like this. Okay. And I want to create another keyframe in here for time three okay just holding shift and click in here and i want to change the color for example to blue so it will start from black to blue and after that the red okay so i want to call this with right clicking and rename it to color okay and when we save it and compile it we can see it in here it is there is a color i want to change the point light color for example in here so i can say set Color, okay so it will find the set light color so we change the color of our light okay so let's just put this here connect this light to here and connect this update to here and no everything should work let's just compile and run our game and you can see it start from uh, blue and it go to red and because we select the loop it will again go to blue and after that red and that's how you can change the color gradually with the animation right so that was it for timelines and in the future video, I will show you a lot cooler stuff with Timeline that can do. And believe me, Timeline make your life very much easier to be a developer in Unreal Engine 5. It's my honor to have you at the end of this video. Please, if you want to help me, hit that like button. So I know that you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.